boys up. I made weed ice cream recently. Really? I made weed ice cream and um, I ate it and I watched Love on the Spectrum, and I was convinced. Bro. I was convinced I was autistic. I was watching that show <laughs> high and I was just like. <laughs> I was like sitting I there was, like, what do you do if she doesn't like dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> I was watching I it. I was convinced, dude. I was like, I'm de- I definitely have this. And was fully like, damn, dude. I look like if an Aust- Australian is retarded, they just look like me. <laughs> Somebody was like, how can you tell if someone's retarded if they have an Australian accent? Yeah. Because they all sound retarded. <laughs> They're like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and uh, I was like, well, the, ne- the, the regular Australians are just like tan hot people. Yeah. And then if you're retarded, you just look exactly like me. If you don't look like a model, it's no just, <laughs> it's no either, delineation. Dude, pale, frumpy <laughs> motherfuckers that stayed inside. No, that, that uh, yeah, everybody's going to be talking about this show. It's literally a show designed for... Yeah, I feel like it's, it's a weird, trap. It's weird, dude. It is weird. It's a trap, dude. I'm, I was watching it, and I'm like, I have pretty loose morals, and I was like, I don't know if, you're, if you should yeah. be doing this, man. This is Also, like, teaming them up, making them date each other. It's like, dude, give. that's why we have fucking weird sex perverts. Just get one dude that's weird enough to fuck like a retarded lady, and let her take let him take care of her. True, you think they can't link doing... them both up and then be like, "All right, you two figure it out, yeah. get a house." Well, they'll, 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 like, how much have you watched of it? Have you watched a couple episodes? I watched two. Yeah, so they'll go on the dates and be like, "Hey, do you guys need a break?" Yeah, it's kind of like, I mean, dude, the dates are anxiety provoking. We're there, and they're, when they're sitting there, they and they're put asking them each other about like the shows and stuff, and they just both freeze up. They both freeze up. Yeah, and so, dude, that must be intense levels of anxiety. You're so taking you, I'm a person sorry. with autism and putting them on camera. Yeah, it's like that can't be like relaxing. So if you haven't seen it, it's called Love on the Spectrum, and it's uh, but it's just a show, a documentary following uh, autistic Australians. And but yeah, that that is, I it is kind of weird, man. The fact that like you know if they're Right now, saying like you shouldn't clap because it could set off someone who's autistic in like a public gathering. It's like, oh, but if you want to like put them on camera and film them Bro. awkwardly trying to date, it's pretty fucking nuts. Dude. Yeah, how about the one at the the costume party? Oh, the, and the then Comic-Con? they just put them outside. I only saw the one where he goes to Comic Con and ditches his date for uh, for the lady from there's Gilligan's one, Island. There's one that's a girl, and then she went and sat outside with this dude, and they just they were like, oh, they this one autistic girl was dancing. And then another dude came up and started dancing with her, and they were like, and they talk about it. It's like a fucking nature show. They're like, oh, she may have found a mate out there. <laughs> and then they put him outside and made him talk, and the kid couldn't talk. Yeah. Because there's a camera in his face. He's on a date, and he didn't know he was doing it. I don't think. Well, I'm sure he did. But yeah. he didn't, you know, his autism kicked in hard, and he couldn't. She was like, I'll, I'll lead it. Do you like cats or dogs? And he's like, Oh, I saw that. And when she was at- like, I have a cat. He's like, do you have a cat? And he's like, yes. Yeah. I do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, holy shit. Dude. Yeah, it was very uncomfortable. For and that then dude. it's like, that guy, I don't know if he got paid. And now his family just has to be like, holy fuck, dude. He was. We sent him to the dance. He ended up on Netflix. Yeah, like having like a slight nervous breakdown. Yeah, being on TV, just like, I have a cat named Gertrude. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, Holy fuck! Yeah, it man. was. That was probably one of the most uncomfortable parts so far. It was he like he mean freaks out. He just goes like, "Oh yeah!" Oh, then, yeah that was <laughs> the best part. She's like, "Should we go inside then?" He's like, "Oh yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I can't. I don't know how Netflix is getting away with this right now, dude. That would be sick though if they got some sort of like first family situation going on, like the like London royalty. What do you mean? Just if they established like if, if an somebody autistic kingdom, yeah, like a if, if somebody like links up and produces an offspring from the show, they probably that's like that's like monarchy level. True, that is if like, that one dude finds a bay on the show. Basically, he's already practicing, like, and she will be my queen. <laughs> yeah, dude. God damn that show. That's yeah. I was I was I was binging some Netflix. That's gonna be a one season done. They're gonna do that. No, that's and then, a fucking hit. Dude. You think it's gonna be like a Seinfeld? That might be a Seinfeld, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to end with one of them. Nah, never mind. <laughs> be a bit of a, you know, there could be a shooting or something. <laughs> that would be fucked up, man. No, it's it's they're just peace lovers, dude. It's also weird to see a couple of them that are, you know, because, of course, it is a spectrum. So some, oh, of, them, dude. some of them don't have it that bad. Don't get kinda, me started on that one guy. I'm, I got that one guy in my scope right now. That one dude that's a real, dude, he's real like, Casanova. I love your body. No, the yeah. one guy who's like, I love your body. I'm like, one of you, I think I think the dude's kind of faking it. I think bit. he's faking it for those tits. Yeah, I think he's faking for those sure. Those tits tits. I was, I, was I was watching it, and I was just kind of like, yeah, this dude doesn't have this. 
My, you know, people have Gator. I have an all. Awesome, my all star is pretty good. Mine went off the hook when fucking Hannah Gadsby claimed it. She, yeah, dude, she claimed it, and I was like, "Come on." Is now. there an autistic revolution in Australia right now? There must be. You must get decent. I mean, you're getting shows. You must get some clout for autism in Australia. Yeah, I mean, autism's hot right now in <laughs> Australia. It's so in. They have to change the thing to Australia. <laughs> Australia. Anyway. But yeah. Well, the other thing too anyway. is like, dude, from a legal, from a legal perspective, it's like, how does that work contract wise? Are you able? I mean, it's like, does it? Do they understand like the point? Like, you want to be on TV? They're like, yeah. They're like, do yes. you understand? Yes. Do you understand what's going to happen? Yes. I mean, I guess anyone takes that risk. You on TV, someone might clown you. But True. it's like. I don't know. I, I, I think it's a honeypot. I think this whole thing's a honeypot to catch alt-right podcasters and be like, oh, they made fun of Love True. on the Spectrum. Take them down. It is this show that's it's designed to be. It's a trap, dude. It's a trap, dude. Because it is such a nice, sweet show that making fun of it is bad. It is so fun. When you watch it, it is so funny. Also, when they show these people, do they have to play that music? You know that like almost like comical, like stringy, like. I don't know. Next time you watch it, listen to the music. Like a string play. band time, kind of thing? Anytime they like show an autistic dude like walking around, it's like, blum, blum, blum. <laughs> like this music while this guy's just going about his day. It's like, come on, man. So you, you didn't get to the episode episode of the uh, Chinese dude yet, did you? I've seen him <laughs> kicking around. Don't you dare put that on me, boy. He's great, dude. He, 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 was, he does realize. I saw him fixing his hair. They gave him the, they gave him like the dating lessons, dude. It's uh-huh. so fucking funny, man. And he has a slight accent. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, yeah, for sure. So he... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, this is a trap, dude. This is a pure trap, They dude. fucking seized my mind, and I, I it was just like limitless. I'm like, oh, my God. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not falling for this. They're like, what's the funniest thing imaginable? I don't know. Probably like a... Autistic Asian dude in Australia dating <laughs> show. <laughs> Do you want to go inside, Dan? Yes. Yeah, that was that was rough, man. Yeah, that one, that one was like I, I kind of felt bad because it was like, yeah. damn, you're sticking a camera in this dude's face and he can't talk and they're like asking him to do like cats or dogs more and he's he's like I can't even. I dude, can't. That, that should be I like this is like early UFC, you know, before like you yeah. can get like kneed in the head for like ten minutes and they finally break it up. <laughs> they got to learn how to throw in the towel quicker on these things. Yeah, that one lady had. Oh, they almost the two of them almost had a heart attack when they were both on that date in like a fancy place. Yeah, they were. I liked like that girl. That dude, was a good date. That I was, was. Yeah, I was hoping they would link. Especially up. off the the SpongeBob intro they had on the speed dating. Oh, dude, that was I nice. saw her eyeing him up when he yeah. was when he was doing his SpongeBob impression, and she was like, "Who the fuck is that?" <laughs> <laughs> she was on a different date. Heard a dude down the table doing a SpongeBob, and was like. <laughs> she, was, she, was, she was definitely being like, yo, who the fuck is that? Who is that star? <laughs> they also don't like each other. Any, every time they all go to date each other, they're like, Man, I think we're just friends. They yeah. don't really like each other at all. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Except that one, dude. The dude who drives a bus, is he the one that loves her tits? Yeah. He's yeah. driving buses? Come on now. I mean, dude, <laughs> he's kind of a fa- That guy's kind of fraud. I'm not going to lie. That guy's kind of fraud. I didn't want to say it, but it's like. I watched that, and I was like, I think this dude's you fucking... You think he's fraudulent? I think he's in autism for the wrong reasons. <laughs> he's I think he's just trying to get ahead. <laughs> you don't think it's for the love of the game? Nah. <laughs> I don't think so at all. Yeah. I think he's just seeking fame through Tism, dude, like all the other Australians right now. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? No, that was that was a good show. I'm going to watch the whole thing. I, I am, I'm rooting I for it, man. Yeah. I hope they all... I hope that show works out and arcs in a way where, like, you know, it's good for everybody. Especially when you see like the the parents, man. It's like just yeah. to, just to ha- just like come to grips with that and just be like, "Fuck, what are we doing right now?" And then it's just like I got I got to talk about SpongeBob for twenty five years. Uh. But dude, it's like <laughs> it's like living with a black kid. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my favorite part was when I think it's my. <laughs> My, his name's Michael, right? The main kid. He, like, responds to his mother like he's, like... He literally sounded like a general in the Revolutionary War. She's like, well, what if you don't find someone you want to date? And he's like, I will not accept that as an answer. I was like, yes, dude. Get pussy. It's, it is sick how they'll, they really do. And again, I, this is why I think I have a little bit of autism. They'll, like, pick a thing, and that's just it. That guy picked a character yeah. that's, like, a Revolutionary War general type. 
The other guy's a dinosaur expert. That dude's a fucking pimp, dude. Wait, wait which one's the dinosaur expert? He took the uh, the one girl out and was like, you, uh, that might have been the third episode. I don't think he saw it. He's a paleontologist. He goes on a date with like the tall chick. I, I can't. I, uh, I think I might have missed I think it. You might, I think I'm too. Phil, Phil fucking bullied me off the Netflix on that. He didn't want to watch it. I was kind of like half watching it. And then he was like, what the hell are you watching? Because he just saw, like, a date. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, dude. Put the golf on. Did you just